Hello, algebra students. Let's take a look at how combining like terms can come up when we are solving equations. So of course, directions here do say solve, but even if they didn't say solve, I would know that I could solve it. Because take a look, I have one expression equivalent or equal to another expression. I have a, the hint I need in order to be able to solve this equation for in this case x. Now please do remember this great principle, it's not a rule, it's a principle, uh, and that is simplify before you solve. And what do I mean by that? I mean if there's any straightforward work you know how to do in either the left hand side expression or the right hand side expression, then go ahead and do that. Clean this sucker up so that it'll be simpler when you do go to solve. All right. Now, that being said, I can see some simplifying I know how to do in the form of what we've been working on, combining like terms. Notice that over there on the left hand side, we do see some like terms. There's a couple of x terms. Those can combine. And there's a couple of constant terms. Those can combine. And when they're on the same side of the equation, they're going to combine like they always do. So let's do the x terms first. Let's do 2x minus 17x. And remember, you can type the coefficients into your calculator if you need to. So you can type 2 minus 17 into your calculator. But when you do, you're going to get 15. Or negative 15, I should say. And negative 15 what? Well, I was adding and subtracting x's, so they will still be x's. Remember, you don't get exponents from adding and subtracting. Then I have plus 15 and minus 57. And again, you can do that in your calculator if you need to. So 15 minus 57 gives me negative 42. And now I've simplified the left-hand side. I replaced this and this with the negative 15x and this and this with the negative 42. There's nothing left on the left. And so all of that will be equivalent to negative 12. And now that I've simplified, clean this up a little bit, this is just a two-step equation, right? We can see that there's two numbers to get rid of in order to get x alone. As always, when I am solving, I will work the order of operations backwards. So I'm going to move anything adding or subtracting first, and let's see what our new equivalent equation will be. So subtracting 42 and adding 42 are opposites. They'll cancel. Only thing left on the left-hand side will be negative 15x. My equal sign stays nice and steady, and negative 12 plus 42 is 30. Almost done, but x is not alone. Now, careful, a lot of students will try to add 15 here, but you guys are my advanced students. You know that when negative 15 is shoved up against x, it's multiplying. So I will divide to get rid of it. And I'm going to divide by exactly what I want to get rid of, the negative 15. And I'm going to make sure that I do that same thing on both sides. Very common error is to only put the negative sign on one side. So multiplying and dividing by a negative or opposite, that cancels. And so I get x is equal to, and 30 divided by negative 15 is simply negative 2. Lovely. So combining like terms doesn't just happen in uh, algebraic expressions where I'm simplifying. I can also see it, this skill coming in handy when I go to solve equations. All right, strong work, you guys. Happy learning.